to them. Um, but uh, having a lot of fun, especially with with RG, um, and uh, and you know, let me actually load up a session with RG uh, while we're talking here. Um, I think that the thing that kind of jumps out at me is just the variety and quality of all the preset sounds. I just found that there's sort of bank after bank of really kind of immediately fun to play and usable sounds. Um, not a lot of a lot of duds like, um, and they seem to be organized really well. I, I just kind of opened up Predator and I'm like, oh, like I want like a real sort of, you know, bright stabby polysynth like like a prophet sound and like I found that in about a minute and then I was like, oh, I want something plucky that I can ar arpeggiate and they, you know, um, knowing how long each of those things takes to program and how with a lot of plugins they're really hard to find the the choice ones um it's just sort of fun to kind of just go through them and just start playing and um here is a little thing that i started just sort of the day that i got the rg plugin and just sort of seeing what it could do um and i just was like playing these these two little uh kind of 12 string guitar strums You know, one doing a sort of an eighth note pattern and one kind of doing a sixteenth note thing. I don't know. It just was uh, really fun. Um, and then I think there's a sub boom bass track here. Um, you know, just kind of like uh, sort of Juno type bass sound. And then I've got got two little. Uh, drum loops going over the top of that, and then, um, but, uh, you know, definitely just a case of, like, I don't know, just finding a cool sound and kind of like, oh, let's just write something right away off of it, and then about, you know, I don't know, in ten minutes or so we had this little, this little hook. was kind of uh, my first little experience with RG. I'm using Subboom Bass in this track. I'm kind of not using it for some of what it's best at, it seems like. I'm using it really just as a, a bass a bass line synth thing. Um, but uh, uh, there's so many cool sort of sequence presets that could be just starting points for songs. And I mean, you know, I, I think for a lot of people that do sort of, uh, you know, synth MIDI based composing, especially if it's stuff for TV and film, a lot of the time it's like you need to be coming up with stuff really fast. You need to, you have to write something every day um, or many things a day sometimes and uh, sometimes just to be able to pull up something and you know, to pull up something that's rhythmic and tonal um, and has cool sounds can kind of just get you off and running. I mean, that's like almost a cue right there, if, you know. Um, it, you know, and that's one sound from one from one module. And there's tons of these. Um, it's neat that some of them are per really just percussion things, but some of them are, you know, bass, percussion, and a melodic element. I haven't even looked at some of these yet, but yeah, and there's some crazy, you know, deep like sine wave almost. Uh... Well, Scott, a uh, resident music guy here at uh, at Bad Robot Productions. Um, I also work as a music supervisor on the uh, the Fox TV show Fringe, and um, just create a lot of uh, musical content here that we uh, we use in a variety of different ways.